Podcast. We back on another motherfucking episode with my motherfucking bitch, motherfucking Shelby. And today has been a motherfucking great, fantastic motherfucking day. And I have a lot to fucking talk about. And I ain't seen you since motherfucking, I don't know, October ish type time, you know, with the podcast. I seen her a lot of times outside of that. But in the podcast world, I seen last time in October, right? And y'all, Shelby back like two times trying to record with people. And I just think it just work better when it's me and her. We just talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, first. I don't think we do good with each other, right? That's why we just stick to each other. Every time we try to be in a friend group together, it never it works. works. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, long story short, y'all, this is the motherfucking after this already podcast and like always i ain't gotta introduce her because she been here before really and truly all right yeah. so we gonna do all that this motherfucking show you know the motherfucking makeup guru hold on what my motherfucking shit it's right here right oh you're right very upset like i'm saying y'all so this is the owner of the fucking lip gloss i be fucking putting on y'all and i ain't gonna lie unintentionally y'all i don't know if y'all be noticing y'all i genuinely like like I said, the bitch ain't asked me doing this shit. It, had, it wasn't no business doing nothing like that. The bitch really just gave me this shit, and I thought the shit was lovely, y'all. And I feel like y'all, what I've noticed, every episode, unintentionally, it be right here, and I already have, like, an addiction to, like, um, I, you, know, you, you know, you can be addicted to chapstick and shit. I'm a young bitch. But you can be addicted to chapstick, so at this point, like, not saying her shit is addictive. Well, it is addictive. But not in a bad way. Not like crap. You know what I'm saying? I've been in there. Done it. She has, too. You know what I'm saying? Heroin, right? <laughs> anyway, y'all, but welcome to the motherfucking Abzardic Podcast. And like always, y'all, we're going to take a motherfucking shot. And we already have our shots for y'all. And this is not going to be one of them little bougie, bougie ass episodes I'll be doing where everything is the same, you know what I'm saying? Because it should be, y'all. Like I told her today, y'all, if y'all saw this room, we got Christine Legit right on the floor right here. <laughs> like, filming this shit. We got Kevin smack dab in my face like a motherfucker, y'all. And we have a TV now, right? So we look a little caca, I know, right? But it's okay, y'all. Y'all got to get just to that because I really enjoy watching the screen. The screen makes it much easier to do this. Like, no, I don't know how easy. Easy. Yeah. I like it. It look way, it's like, I ain't got to keep. Yeah, I'm yeah. a keep, but, but it's like, yeah, yeah, you see, you get the vibe. Yeah. We see what y'all see. We see what y'all see. Yeah. All right, so let's take our motherfucking shot. Good just now. No, you can take our motherfucking shots and shit like that. Um, Yeah, uh, makes her on I was, I was trying to be on the So go ahead and grab your motherfucking so. follow-up. Cause my friend here brought motherfucking Don Julio, and we also have wine and shit like that. And then I have lemonade and these little small bottles. And also, y'all, you know, send me something to my P.O. box. So if y'all can start sending me like little things like this, I can stop pouring off them crabs. Some crabs be going to waste. She came in one time, she was drinking that little Sprite ass cream raisin. She was spoiled, and I kept trying to tell her it was spoiled, and she kept drinking it. it was good. So it was disgusting. It was spoiled. <laughs> yeah, it was like, spicy. Christine, I think Christine was the one that likes me to my son. Bro, your shit in here is spoiled. So yeah, go ahead and clean the motherfuckers at home and shit like that. Bingo. Oh, Roofie there? What it feel like? No, no, no. When you see me, I'm white. But girl, let's talk about it. All right, what so this has been a motherfucking ten? good motherfucking year, bitch. And we, you know, you know it's been some ups and downs. You know, we 100 and, 103 days in. To what? To what? The year. That's it? Yep. <laughs> got a long way to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> got 200 more of these bitches. Okay. But I feel like it's been a good motherfucking year, right? So I feel like this has been a year I feel like the hoes has been motherfucking chirping, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like the hoes only been chirping lately because they feel like you the life's not an elevator, right? But I'm really still the same fucking nigga, bitch. I still enjoy me some good motherfucking wings. Still enjoy me some mother... I love good wings. We haven't had and a wing date. We have not, bitch. But you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm be transparent. I really don't go to Buffalo Wings no more. I don't either. Yeah, but so we you know got the good wings to me? Who? No, mad. Never ate there. Oh, that shit. Maybe we should switch it up. We just got a pop of those. Okay, Every fuck it. Myself, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you won't see me for none of them dates, bitch. Like I'm saying, bitch. Anyway, we ain't seen each other, but it's been a good year, right? And I feel like this, right? I feel like 
And I feel like you always have to deal with this shit because you, you know, you being that type of bitch, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like I really seen that niggas are very hobosexual, which means that niggas will see that you are living a good life oh, and got shit going for yourself, and they gonna try to come in your motherfucking shit Ooh. and stay there and plant themselves in there like some fucking weeds and be in your motherfucking life, right? And a nigga with a nigga favorite thing to do to me, I don't know about you, is to give me good dick. And had me fucking sprung. Niggas love to have me sprung. I be sprung over niggas. You be sprung over niggas. Mm-hmm. I be sprung over niggas. Like yesterday, I ain't gonna lie to you. Now my friend find this out right now, and I already know she finna look at me. So bitch, make sure you stay doing your job, doing live. But yesterday, right, well two days ago, I had got into it with the bitch I fuck with, and then yesterday I was on the phone with the bitch. No morals, me, none of them. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna ask you a question. You been you done lost yourself fucking with somebody? Cause I'm losing myself, lucky currently, and I'm laughing about it, y'all. But it's like it's okay, like, so. Because I've done that, I lose myself. Then I be like, stand up. Mm-mm. Get I it together. I forget, I, I, I forget how to walk. Mary, you're weak in the knees. Yeah, me. Get up. I never hooped before. I don't have good knees, bitch. That's why I didn't hoop. <laughs> Fuck. I don't shoot my shot, bitch. And the bitch, man, I ain't gonna lie. Some, I ain't gonna lie. So I feel like my issue right is I feel like I've been so closed off from love for so much. Like, I, are you a lover girl? Mm-hmm. Like, to everybody? Mm-mm. Okay, so like, I mean, like, to everybody. Like, do you embrace everything with I love? feel like I'm a. I'm a sweet person, but I don't just genuinely throw my all into it until I see you're doing something. So you play like still for a little minute? Like Not you try to still, be like, oh, but kind of like, bitch. like I'll fuck with you, but like, I'm still watching. You know? I feel like this. I feel like niggas are telling the truth until proven guilty. Mm-mm. <laughs> really? Mm-mm. They come off line. They do not come off line. They be lying. Niggas don't lie. Y'all be lying. Females lie. Females dogs. Y'all want me to take up for y'all tonight? I be, I be looking. It should be. I could I could reverse the roles on y'all. Females are dogs. Y'all hoes be playing these niggas. Y'all hoes are not to be trusted. Y'all hoes move the shady is. Y'all hoes be having five different niggas and let a nigga have half of a bitch and he has a problem. Hoes like to take the victim route every time a nigga does something bad to them, but hoes be out here doing bad things to them. Hoes don't even think twice to care about a nigga feelings. Do you? No. Okay. So you hoes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> So let's be more specific, right? So tell me about the last time that you feel like you did some hot shit to a nigga. Like you know you was on your player shit, right? Like tell me how how player can Shelby get. Damn. Damn. Testing my gangster. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, let me see. How player have I gotten? You gotta give me an example. Ain't no example, bitch. What the fuck? Oh, you want me to go first, I guess? Yeah, you go first. How player can I get? How player have you gotten? Every time I think I'm player, I'm lucky going outside. That's true. Like, I be looking sad. Like, I be out here like, I don't know. I cry over people. Oh. I do. We need to talk more. Like, I know y'all was like, <laughs> like on Saturday night, everybody was outside, right? So nobody saw what was going through. I was like, it was like probably like 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock in the morning. I was in my close friend posting all the sad songs I like listening to because I was in my room in a dark blue room with my black eye curtains on. I had raindrops on and I wanted to cry and I kept sitting in the room all night because I wanted to cry over a nigga. Okay, so I don't do that. I like sending my depression my niggas. I'm not going to lie. Like, when I'm I'm sad over a nigga, I go get up under another one. Because why are you so sad? <laughs> okay, no, real nigga shit. How do you keep up with hoes, though? I feel like having hoes is so annoying. It's very hard. That's why I don't have that many anymore. But, like, having hoes is it's tiring. Like, it's too many attitudes, too many I want to see you, too many. It's too much. Expectations and shit like that. Like, I'm and tired of being be like... fucking expected to treat you right. I'm tired of being expected to love you. And then my thing is, what I like to do to niggas, I love telling niggas I love them. You be loving them? I don't, but I love telling them I love them. You don't like doing that shit like the little like, no. like it's like hot sauce on your food. No, and I love you. <laughs> no, no, it spices it up. No, okay, okay. So let's say you fucking somebody, right? Mm-hmm. And then like y'all all into it, and you fucking be like, them how like from the back? Like you fucking, like y'all fucking, and then mm. they be like. I love you. I that love that shit. That fucks up the whole mood. I'm ready to go. No, not me. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm the type of person you be like- You fucking ruined it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm the type of person, bitch. My, my body won't spin. My head will spin all the way around. I'm like, you love me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like, me? Me. Girl, we just have motherfucker playing bottle class. If you, not, if you not my man, i am be like, why you had to do that? Why you had to ruin the mood? They really want- No, real nigga shit. Stop. No. For, they ruin the mood for you, for real? I don't like that I love you shit. It just, especially if I know you got a girlfriend. Okay, wait. Let's ask the audience. Do you be telling y'all? Do you be telling hoes you love them? Why do y'all like, love these hoes? Christine, do you like when they say they love you? It depends on a nigga. Like imagine, okay, okay. It depends on a nigga because you want the nigga that you love to say. That's what it depends on. It depends on a nigga. No, but like, it, it, like, it, this it, a nigga you not supposed to be loving. They just damn, I love you. You. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, no, I ain't, I'm, I'm gasping. Every nigga can't say he love me like chill no, out, chill out, chill out, chill out. No, not every nigga. But most of them. 
I love it. So I was trying to tell some people earlier. So I'm gonna ask you a question, right? Because you know, you 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 know, me and you, we you and we we know hoes, but we you know, we 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 we, 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 we got a football team. Okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I do. <laughs> so basically, I feel like this. I was trying to tell my friends, right? Uh, well, I was trying, not my friends. I was trying to tell people earlier, right? That basically, like, I have fucked somebody, mm-hmm. and I felt bad about fucking them because I'm like, damn, we could have just been friends, but we fucked. So you ruined the friendship. We ruined the friendship. So you, you ever cannot had be, like, be friends with somebody that you have had sex with. But I, I we friends for well, sure. Well, I ain't gonna lie, you can. We friends for sure. It was like a one time, like pop. I feel pop, like this one time thing, and you was like, you know, this didn't work out. But you know what fucked no me more. about that situation? What they fucked me so good, bitch. Ooh, come, come back to me, Bruh. They fucked me so good, like I ain't gonna lie. You like that? I ain't gonna lie. You got to just look for it. <laughs> They brought a plus one to their episode. I was mad as hell. I, I played no fuck with them after the episode. Y'all I was like, damn. damn. Why you brought a plus one? Fuck. <laughs> really? then, then I be in your plus one DMs. That made it worse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, I was like, what the fuck? Plus one put up to the door. I, hug, I hugged the guests. I ain't heard a plus one. I'm like, fuck going on? Am I a whore? I, I, am, am, I, am I the whore? <laughs> I really felt like that. But shit, it is what it is. So when did you know, like, did you ever go through like a... Whole phase, or are you always sexually liberated? Are you sexually liberated? I had my whole phase. My whole phase was early, though. It was very early. Okay, so when you look at like shit that people did really right, do you honestly think it's a whole phase? I look back at shit, you was not no whole phase. We was not really out here down bad like that. This, that's another thing. Y'all, I feel like because if people started having sex earlier than other people, that doesn't make you like a hoe. 12. Like, okay, not 12. Y'all tripping. But I feel like. I was talking to certain types of dudes earlier than most people were. So it's like, like for example, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> so that's like, on, you, you, you know the vibes. So that's on your average 23, 24 year old, but I was like 18, 19. So I was like, oh, she a hoe. Okay, do you think that's wrong? No, that like you 19 talked to a 24 year old? No. I was very much No, 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 no. You said 18. Okay, so if you were 17, that was like 22, 23. That was my situation. Do you think it's wrong? No. I was in a relationship. The fuck? Remember? I don't remember everything, bitch. All right, so this is how I feel. I feel like... Don't start... You know what? Before we even go here, I, uh, looks dead in camera. If you are over 18, the person you want to talk to is over 18. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You grown. Shit. I can't stand the whole, oh, she's 18 and he's 25. She know what she want to do, a pussy. She want to talk to him. No, 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 no. Yes. No, 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 no. no. Yes. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. I don't like that. I can't stand when people be making it seem like you're too old, you're too young to talk to somebody. Okay, so we saying 18, right? We're not saying you're going to 18 in that situation? I like older people. Okay, so I feel like this. Do you like, okay, so I'm being transparent with you, and I know you. we, we, we be having fun episodes, but you see, I be talking to people. Do you feel like you like other people because, like, is it, like, is me being different? Huh? Do you think you like, like, issues? Do I have dad issues? Basically. No, my dad's around. I just don't fuck that with him. That don't mean you can't have daddy issues, bitch, because no, your daddy I around. I mean, you gotta, your daddy got to get ghosts. No, fuck? I just, I okay, I personally like older dudes because I felt like older dudes were on a different level than I was, and I feel like I could learn something from them. Did you learn something from them? No. Yeah, me either. Problems. <laughs> yeah, I used to try to fuck older men, too. So I just kind of was on some more like, oh, older men are more established. They have their shit together rather than me, and maybe I can look to learn from them. But it was never like a, oh, you give me dad vibes. Like, no. You call your nigga daddy? No. I call my nigga papa. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I for real, I be. Papa. Oh, papa. It's cute. Come on, papa. Nah, it, a, it depends, like. It depends on my mood I'm in. Like, sometimes it'll slip daddy, but just a... Girl, that's so ugly. Da- it was... The dragon and I, Daddy. Daddy. You want to be ghetto so Daddy. Bad. Daddy. I'm not ghetto at all. Okay, that's how I feel. I don't want to be ghetto. I live in Pearland. Let's take a shot. i am got one. You pour yours up. Thank oh. you. Come on, y'all. Get y'all four locos Come together. on, Kevo. You're going to be the people at home. Let's see how the people at home. Y'all, he got on Heelys. Stop fucking playing. That man don't have on got them Heelys. That man says catch us, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. You when you now? see me, I'm white. You want a bottle of wine over there? Girl, you drunk too. Which one you want? You want this red wine? No, she's gonna take the whole bottle. Oh, okay. <laughs> if 
fuck you, Shelby. She, oh, okay. The, the staff is getting real unprofessional. <laughs> yeah. How do you take Not the bullshit. whole bottle? Okay, see if you got what you going through, baby. All right, so this is how I feel, right? In 2022, I feel like there's a lot of different things going on and things like that, right? And I feel like the main thing that's going on is motherfuckers getting motherfucking, like, motherfuckers getting mistreated and misabused, misabused, abused and shit like that, right? So I feel like this. I've never had to experience, like, a nigga actually, like, handling me, right? Mm -hmm. But do you feel like every nigga is wrong the minute they put a hand on that bitch? Because I feel like... They gonna cancel me. <laughs> no, so no, I'm gonna go first then because I feel like we're probably on the same page. Then. Okay, well, go ahead, go ahead. You, I feel you mean like I, follow. I feel like you go first. You know what? Fuck it. Every relationship, you no, know, whether y'all are totally against it or not, y'all didn't fall, y'all didn't hit each other, hit each other up top of the head a couple times, y'all didn't tussled a little bit. But when y'all niggas just beating your ass, please leave. No, like he you know, beat the hoe. <laughs> Beat the whole like chill out, but if a nigga like man, bitch, stop playing with me. But like not in your face, but like I don't know, I don't know about that either. But like, like I didn't be like, choked and pushed the crystal across the, across the not punched, but pushed against the wall a little bit. It get you wet. I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hork, Hulk smash. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he really gets you He's mad. Oh, fuck me. Oh, okay. God. So, this is how I feel. No, real nigga shit, though. I, <laughs> fuck you, Shelby. This nigga so far. I don't got to lie. My nigga handle me, but maybe because I'm gay. You know, gay people love that shit. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. Be a I ain't going to lie. You know, I'm a big nigga. So, if you handle me, bitch, I ain't going to lie. You know, it's crazy. For me, be a big nigga, I love a nigga that can handle me. Like, I want you. I want you. I, I damn near want you. Like, check me. Cuss me out. Like, I handle me. I Five feet. Don't be doing all of that. But what I realized recently, right? I thought I thought that shit was cute until like once I was hanging out with this nigga and we went on like a little date, and he did that shit in front of like everybody on some playful shit. But it was kind of like stop, stop playing with me. Damn, bitch, you got a rose over there. <laughs> Y'all, my like, phone just vibrated my coochie in. Ooh. <laughs> This got a little uh, crazy, <laughs> but no, I basically feel like like I feel like like don't embarrass me in public with your jokes. Yeah, that's happened to me before. I was at Atomic Bottle and I was getting holiday, and I was like. Yeah, like it's not cute it's here. Not cute it's here. not cute in here. It's like, cute at home. that's Please what I'm saying. Stop. Like, everyone, everyone in the real world thinks it's I be nice. handling these niggas, it's and you're nice. handling me. Relax. Like, how the fuck we just left Jasmine Sullivan? You know, bitches get piped up about the Jasmine oh, this Sullivan. This is recently. Shit. Yeah, this is real recent. Everything <laughs> I speak on about it recent, baby. She just was here, bitch. And then I'm in a, I'm in a concert getting head poked on and shit like that. Like, bitch, what I do to you? We just met. You know what I'm saying? So this is how I feel. I feel like every relationship goes to trials and tribulations, right? But sometimes I feel like people accept abuse in their relationships. Mm -hmm. But I think there's like a difference in like what abuse is and what an altercation is. Okay, you have an altercation as in, you know, you two are arguing, you know, you get a little upside the head and, you know, man, stop fucking playing with me. Then you got bitch up for the beat your ass. <laughs> like, like, you got, like, you got 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 like, Oh, dad's drunk. Like, you got, like, them type of niggas. Like, yeah, dad's drunk tonight. Like, uh, he's going to abuse me. Yeah, yeah like. He's got the situation if, you're all, if anybody Yeah, really good shit, because I know it's a very sensitive topic, y'all. Yeah, if you're getting your ass okay. beat by your, that's probably really something like that. Well, if okay, getting, if you are being abused and d domestic violence. They hate us, you know that? Huh? I be reading the comments lately, y'all. They be, they be like, this podcast is unprofessional. Because we don't know the right words, y'all. Okay, I'm Houston, sorry. If y'all like... are, if you, domestic violence, if y'all are being abused by anybody that you're talking to, involved with parents, relationship, any of that, call the laws and please get out of that situation as quick as possible. You know what's crazy? Though? I honestly feel like mental abuse, uh, what is it? Mental abuse mental is, worse, abuse than is worse than physical abuse, yeah. Because just like you're being mind fucked. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm gonna be transparent. I feel like. There's certain triggers that maybe that I'm learning about myself that I feel like was all because I never realized I've been mentally mentally abused for so long. And I feel like I didn't realize that even when like I didn't feel like I knew I was bullied in school, but I didn't realize how much of a toll that took on me and like my pride and things like that, right? So I feel like with you, right? I feel like did you ever feel like like I feel like did you ever feel like you went through mental abuse? Not with like parents like that, but like in school and just friends. I like, feel like I've been through mental abuse, especially like with a person trying to deteriorate your character. Facts. Um and like try to make you seem like something you not and mm -hmm. you start questioning like am I this person when you know that you're not right. you know like trying to make you seem like some like like something that you not like like you crazy and you be like I don't know damn well now have you ever been abusive though and not physically but mentally no ever no you never dog a nigga out if he dogged me first no well, fuck that like he went first 
So you always that means you love a bitch for real then. Cause you've never I never first. I never just dog a nigga unless you a hoe. But like any dude that I'm with, like I never just treat you like shit. Like I'm I'm sweet. But the minute you play with me, it's tag every fucking time I get. Tag yeah, ho. So I'm a shady bitch. So I feel like this, right? So currently at this very fucking moment, right? Mm -hmm. I be feeling like I like to self-sabotage relationships. Because I want to see how much you love me. I want to see how hard you're going to work for me. You don't agree with it? You don't look like you agree. I don't. You don't be putting your niggas in trials and tribulations, baby? You damn the thing. We going through the motherfucking uh, rapture in this bitch, bitch. I'm putting <laughs> you through all type of shit, bitch. Because I'm going to make sure you love me, bitch. 12, 12 days and 12 nights, I want to see how much you I'm love gonna me. I'm going to test you. And I'm going to go I'm one of them people like, okay, it's the Aquarius in me. I be looking start, uh, start, I be looking straight. I'd be like, okay, I want this with you, I want this with you, I want this with you. The minute you fuck it up and you turn my head this way, that's it. Oh, you give up quick. Yeah, I be like, See, me, fuck my this. question, my problem is I get like 50 chances. I'm going to forgive you. Oh, like, right now, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, we probably going to talk about it like, when we work out, bitch. I don't want to hear that shit. I used to be but like, chance, chance, chance. I'm person. a chance, chance, chance ass bitch. I stopped doing that because I feel like a nigga wouldn't give me that many chances. Like, honestly, on some, on some serious shit, y'all, you can get a million chances you can give a nigga a million chances and they and you're supposed to have open arms and take them back every chance they get but you fuck up one time oh baby pack her up pack her up the nigga ready to leave he ready to leave you got one time okay so have you actually ever ever why well, you look so serious okay have you ever <laughs> mad. have you ever actually like actually like like regretted how you like dogged a nigga or cheated a nigga yeah do you have you ever, are there niggas out here you dealing like, ooh, is there a nigga out here that's like living his best life? you like, fuck. No. Really? That's me. None of you niggas living your best life. I agree. That's not you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Even like the nigga, I was like, damn, like we was friends, yada, yada. I wish I could fuck, yada, yada. I feel like shit, like. Like even dudes that like per got demons and shit. portray that they're living their best life, like. Girl, that be pictures from last year. Uh, 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 Y'all be unhappy as fuck. <laughs> Calling me blocked. One thing I hate about, <laughs> one thing I hate about hoes though. Y'all gonna post some fucking resort pictures five years later and act like y'all talking about some y'all take me back. Take me back. Bitch, go back. You ain't got five dollars. I can't. Stand, I can't what? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's how much your resort is, bitch. I no, need I'm that just, fucking that, travel agent. No, I'm saying like that's that's for the Me and Christine going tomorrow, I, bitch. I, fuck. I, what I'm saying is like I can't stand it, but take me back. Okay, take just, me back. Just I ain't go back. Lie. One thing about me, right? Can you not go back? I go to Jamaica every year. You don't I, ever see me spin the block and be like, oh, take me back. He just goes like, back. Yeah, I just fucking got back. And when I do true trips, like, I've been several places, right? I don't ever be like, take me back. Like, I really want to go back to New York, right? But y'all ain't never heard of me, heard me say that shit. And, like, it's just like, I'm gonna go. Because, bitch, I'm gonna keep saying take me back. Bitch, take me back to Galveston then. Fuck. You know where I won't say take me back to? Fucking Dubai. Really? I ain't gotta go back there. I don't agree with that statement. Well, I can't say I don't agree because I've never been, but like, I still want to fucking. Some go shit is still. like. I don't a, even care what you're no, European no, no. Is really. No, I want you. You can speak European, but. I feel like, it's okay, if y'all are watching this, if y'all are watching this and y'all have a passport, save your money and everybody should go to Dubai at least one time. That is not somewhere I will hop on a plane and be like, oh, let's go to Dubai. What was the issue? Is the food? It was too fucking much. I ain't gonna lie, that was an expensive trip. Y'all, okay, one night like we this. spent three thousand no, dollars in the club. Let me hold you accountable. Let me hold you accountable. Explain. Right. Let me hold you accountable. Listening. Your Dubai trip wouldn't look like my Dubai trip. What are you trying to say? I feel like you probably went out there like, like you said, first thing out your mind was the club. Why the fuck am I going to a club in Dubai? It's my birthday. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm probably gonna go on a hot air balloon. I'm gonna go do fucking the fucking RV thing. I thing. did. Things. We did like, the RVs. We did the that's private cool. tour. I, I love with the little animals. garden thing y'all went to. That was bomb. Yeah. But like, I nice. feel like I wouldn't go to the club, bitch. Get a Bluetooth speaker in that room and buy us a bottle and call that fucking shit a day. I just feel like I had a great time. But like I said, it was really the flight. I had never been on a flight that long. I, that's you know when I ain't gonna lie, when I play my shit, I was like, oh, thirteen dollars. Like, God damn. no, it was straight there. It's it's sixteen. My shit had a layover. Oh, well, this one didn't have, this one has, we flew straight there on Emirates, 17 hours straight there, and it was 18 and a half to get so back. So I purposely had planned mine to have a layup because I wanted to spend time wherever I had landed. Kind of never been to Canada, so it was going to be Canada, mm -hmm. and I was like, damn, I'm going to go to Canada. Then when I got back, I think it was going to be Canada again or somewhere else. Regardless, I had like hotels booked for all that, and I was going to do two different cities in, uh, is it Egypt, right? That's Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two different cities in Egypt. I was going to do Dubai, and it was something else. I don't forgot what it was, and I had like a tour guide and shit like that. My trip is gonna be. That's why I'm saying. Like my trip look different. Like I feel you like you did what? a lot, but you did that. You did a lot of shit I never saw that that, that man even offer me. I don't like. I don't know. I think my birthday was like 24k, so I had to like. You know, you only turn 20. 24k out 
I can't yeah, I say, no, no. Ooh, no, I did bitch, not. I almost got canceled, girl. My joke was, ooh. What was your joke? Tell me in the air. We're going to clip it right here. Pause. <laughs> I'll be out there, girl. I was going to be out there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to hell. Oh. And scene. We're back. Scene, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. <clears throat> not the coughing. No, please stop. I had the fucking cough. I have the booster, and my staff don't. So what I'm doing, they get sick. We don't have insurance for that. First off, I'm not sick. I bitch can't cough. Yeah, well, please. No coughing on the show, me. y'all. <laughs> bitch, okay. Anyway, speaking of coughing, right? So do you fuck your makeup when you fuck your makeup up when you suck dick? Mm mm. Damn. So I feel like this. It depends. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you got two different types of second dick. You got a little, uh, uh, get it wet, and you got the, uh, uh, the, the, the 3,000. There's only one type of second dick. Mm -mm. Sometimes you can't suck everybody's dick like that. You can't do that. If I'm sucking your dick, I'm for sure finna you like... sucking, You sucking dick, but like sometimes you you're, you cannot tell me every time you suck dick, you're giving it 110%. You're not even finna sit up. You ain't finna sit up and lie to me like that. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Oh. Are you not? I am not. <laughs> That's why you're single, bitch. It probably is. I don't give a fuck. For me, I got a man. A good man. And he loves me. And this. Bing, 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 Oh, my God. This bitch over there cracking the fuck up in this bitch. You, you doing this? I'm doing this. Uh, nah, it ain't, I ain't got like that. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna be all, you gonna be transparent with you because we friends. Yeah, let's hear it. I'm sorry, because I feel like you're getting a lot. It's what? your first time in the podcast. So. You but you watch me. <laughs> I genuinely can say I do not feel good. What? I don't. It's okay. Don't. That back there, nope. I'm not good at it. I'm not. Right. So you are the fucker. I'm not. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now we gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. I personally feel like okay. So, what do you rate your sex? Let's start with that. A ten. What you rate your sex, Kevin? On a one to ten. I'm like, I can fuck. I got some good coochie. Uh, where at? I'm saying depend on when. Like, am I tired? Am I? Good day. A good day. A good day. Good day. Oh, super. I got some good coochie. What you rate? Y'all don't comments in now. I'm gonna say nine because I don't eat ass. That, Why? That don't make it a. That's... When you see me, I'm <laughs> white. <laughs> you leaving because of that? Huh? You leaving because the nigga not eating your ass? No, no, no. I'm not leaving. I'm just saying, but why? Why don't you eat ass? Why don't you eat ass? Uh, just I ain't really just I ain't never start, so you should start. Okay, well, I don't eat ass either, so hey, it is what it is. I'm in I don't it. eat ass either. I don't, <laughs> bitch. I'm glad you don't. Would you eat your nigga ass though? <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't be cleaning their ass. All right, now let's ask a nigga though. Let's hear from the audience. <laughs> No, for real, no, we're here. Here we have a nigga in the camera, y'all. We have a nigga right here, right here, right here. It's Kevo. <laughs> do you honestly, like, do you honestly clean your ass? What? But like, not like a, not like a. Why are you laughing at him because he cleaned his ass? <laughs> no, I was laughing at the way you asked. Sorry. <laughs> no, like, okay, so like, I mean, like this. Look what I'm doing. I'm gonna watch on the screen so I can make sure I'm doing it right. This your ass. This the, this the cheeks. This the cheeks. I don't know, bro. I don't know about none of that. I know I clean my ass. My shit clean. Mm-mm. He clean. You. Do you clean your ass? Get to clean my ass. How you clean your ass? I wipe my ass. Like I like with like like paper. with a wipe and then with toilet paper. I clean my ass. And that's just if I'm using a restroom and then like if I take a shower, I'm cleaning my ass. You don't clean your ass? No, I do. You looking you, confused. Y'all don't clean, don't clean well, your ass. Why don't clean my ass? Clean your ass is actually like I'm talking about shower, not the actual wiping your ass. That's stupid. Oh, like but, like you gotta, you gotta get in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Man, take a shot. Take a shot. You can't one. You can't one. You can't one. You know this one. Make this why I don't. Make this clean your shit, boy. Make this why I don't let us be together. Nah, God, for real, they're not make, having this back. Make this why we can't be together. That's why I kept trying to have a guest with us so we can calm down. Bitch, we calling you. Answer right now. You got to answer. Oh, no. That's going to be the fucking discipline. Answer loudly. Hey, mama. That don't count. <laughs> I'm on a podcast. I call you back. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> That'll not count. I thought I was going to be a nigga, y'all. Girl. <laughs> and you not. Come on. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't go out. I'm sick. I can't go out. I'm sick. I'm being sick. I don't even want the come shot. On. You didn't cough on a wood. You didn't clink, clink with me. Why do I keep crying? Y'all, get y'all shots together. Let's go. Christy, I'm sorry. Can you give me some napkins? I'm out of it room. It is so hot. It's always out of here. Ooh, I got to come during business hours. <laughs> I be trying to say that. Wait till the summer, bitch. I'll be done with the fuck the other shit. I'll be up here. We not. Ooh, I can't wait till the summer, y'all. Imagine that, Christine. We only up here during the day. Imagine that. That'd be nice. Did you give us toilet paper? Or napkins? You see me, I'm white. <laughs> bitch, I really got. Bitch, I ain't crying like that. You could have gave me some napkins. You didn't have to she dog me out like that. It's okay, have a seat. She gave him some tissue. It's okay. She tried to play me just now. Okay, it's cute. Come on, take a shot with me. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't so good. Kobe. Oh, 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 oh. That was me. Okay. I'm trying to be on the next album. Damn. He produce a shit, if not me. Oh, oh. Anyways, we digress from these little oh. don't clean that whole ass bitches. All right, so. Oh, oh, oh. This is how I feel. Oh, oh. In 2022, oh, oh. I want every nigga to start embracing <laughs> getting your ass ate. I'm letting it sit there in silence on purpose because I want y'all to let that resonate. <laughs> I feel like I really want y'all to start opening up and being more open to different things, right? I feel like we need to start pushing the agenda. No, ex- when y'all are eating pussy, stick your hands in that shit, please. Please. Just a, uh, uh, like something. How big is your pussy? My pussy's not that big, but I'm saying like a little two finger while you eating the pussy. You got space for that? Two fingers? Oh. I didn't say a hand. How good is your dick radar? What you mean? Can you tell a nigga got a big dick without looking at his dick? Mm-hmm. What is one sign that you can look at to know a nigga got a big dick? Mm. I know the answer, but I'm going to see if you know. I look at calves and feet. Calves and feet? Mm-hmm. Like calves? Mm-hmm. And your height. I ain't ever met a tall nigga with a small dick. Girl. As long as I've been living. That is true. I've been living okay, I feel like years. this. The size of your nose. Mm-mm. The size of your nose. I'm mm-hmm. God, the size of your nose. Because the person that's on the side of the picture with me, oh, pull out the magnum. Think about it. Take a second. That don't Ding. mean I'm saying if your nose not big is little. I'm saying if your nose big is for sure big, though. That's not true. Every nigga that had a big, maybe I fuck big nose niggas. Every nigga you that had a just got a type. That's all it is. I love it. Nigga, smell nigga. your ass when you walk in. That's what I'm saying. Big nose nigga. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come here, bring that. No. Okay, so this, so basically, I got another question, right? So basically, I want to touch on different things, right? I want to normalize different things, and I feel like we need to start normalizing, putting a price on where we're worked, right? Mm-hmm. So I feel like this, right? And basically, I feel like this: Would you, if you couldn't have dick ever again, right, in your motherfucking life, right, if it wasn't free, how much are you willing to pay for dick? Zero. That be sick. Zero. <laughs> no, for real, for real, bitch, you can have dick no more in your life. All that coughing. <laughs> I have a fucking cough. I don't give a fuck. If you couldn't pay for dick, no. If you had to pay for dick, like it's not free. Like how much you willing to pay for dick? Ten dollars. Really? So you get ten dollars <laughs> dick? So you fucking like? Maybe a hundred. It depends on. <laughs> like it's like honey. <laughs> it's like it's like honey. honey. It's like, it's like, okay, Kevin, if you couldn't pay for, if you could, only couldn't get pussy for free no more, you only could pay for pussy. How much you willing to pay? Don't disappoint us. Is it twenty five k? I'm sure it's cheaper pussy, but that's, you feel me, similar in feelings. Jada, you set the fucking radar in, I baby. I ain't gonna lie, no. Shout out Jada, because, bitch, you want a whole little Jada, rant, bitch. Jada, Jada. Don't play. For real, for real, bitch. I give you your flowers. You really had this whole saying 25K. 25K for some pussy. Like, bitch, I ain't gonna lie. For 21, for sure, I'm gonna put that on a shirt. You know, I like to tell people. 25K for some pussy. 25K for some you pussy. Need sh- y'all, Jada needs some shirts, y'all. She should have. That's how she should have marked that shit. Period. 25K, 25K for these ass. And then on the back, she'd have put in, I'm trying to be like Jada Widow. Jada, I'm trying to I'm trying to be like Jada Widow. 25K, bitch. We're going to make that shit. Me. We get a little, after the already a little thing on the side so they know. <laughs> All right, so anyways, right? So I feel like this. I feel like we should start fucking normalizing getting paid for sex. I feel like a lot of things that we do for free and we don't you know our fucking value. You want us to sell our pussy. Okay. I don't think that, mm, that's illegal, huh? No. That's prostitution. It's prostitution. That's illegal, bitch. I mean, we are on bissonette. No, we're not. Shut up. Bleep, 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 bleep. They don't know who we at, bitch. Anyway, oh, y'all, bleep, bleep, we bleep. in Beaumont, Texas. That's what the P.O. Box says. So. I'm long far from being over there. Put me somewhere else. So, honestly, though, no. when we speak on Beaumont, actually, <laughs> since we're on that topic, right, and college mm-hmm. things right there, do you ever honestly, like, wish that, like, you could have got the full experience? No. Do you ever regret for real? I got the full experience. For real? 
Yes, I did. No, thank you. All right, I'm going to ask about, did you ever go to college? Did you go to college? You finished? Okay, all three of y'all. Do y'all ever honestly have regrets that y'all didn't finish? Um, no, I don't have regrets. I went to Prairie View, and like she said, I feel like I got the full experience when I was graduating. Um, and but I really look, didn't know what I was there for in the first place. So it was like, I get that. what I did get was enough. I feel I can say this, though. I have applied for summer one at TSU. So I'm gonna go. I've lived the turned up life, the entrepreneur life, the business life. Girl, I'm just because you're in school, don't I'm mean that stop. Redo it. Girl, you finna still be in the club. I didn't say that I was, but I am finna finish school. Christine, but I don't feel, feel like I didn't get my full experience. Like it, college is not a fucking. Ex- okay, let me say all this. College is an experience. I don't want to take that away from anybody. But after you see the apples, the capitals, the cues, and you know you get shimmied on a couple fucking times. And after that, it's nothing else. Like, what else is there? Well, let's class. dive into it. Hold on. Let's dive into it real quick. Well, Christine, real quick, before we dive into that, how you feel, Christine? Do you ever feel like you regret, like, not doing the whole thing, or are you okay? I feel like, well, I'm going to go back just because I don't want to start something I didn't finish, but I feel like if I could do it again, I would do the HBCU. But Facts. Just to have that experience. Yeah, I would have been Greek. All right, simple like this. Speaking <laughs> of Greek and shit like that, I would have been Greek. I would have been the Sigma. You know, they like the gay people. All right, so I would have like this, right? Do you feel like... Honestly, it's weird that like, let's talk about it. Fuck that shit. Because I want to talk about it. Fuck it. Let's talk about it. And they can get on this they want to. I don't care. Period. I feel like it's very weird looking back at that shit that I would allow a nigga to beat my ass to be a part of a group. Huh? I feel like it's very weird that I would allow a nigga to beat my ass to be a part of a group. To <laughs> like, <laughs> like, give me the fuck off of I'm here. dead ass. <laughs> Oh, niggas feel scared. <laughs> niggas, like, no, bitch, we, I right, look, I'm, pfft. I feel like. I zoom in on me, so yeah, like, you're not even here. <laughs> I feel like it's very weird the fact that I would have sat there and got my ass beat. At, niggas don't want to get fucked in the ass for $10 million. We're going to get beat up by a nigga for fucking free. Just to say, this is my brother. Like. Not even free. You pay for that shit. Pay for the can to get your ass beat. You pay to get fucked. So I feel like this. <laughs> And then don't, don't give me the bullshit about how, like, oh, well, it helps better yourself. Half the niggas that's Greek ain't even doing shit with their motherfucking yeah, life. Half the niggas don't even graduate. Y'all ain't got no jobs. <laughs> don't got no job. I ain't graduate, not doing shit, and you're not even active in that organization. But y'all don't think I know about too much about Greek. Like, but I do, bitch. You so let letter me just explain wearers. something to you. You're, not, you, you're just you, a letter you wearer. You letter wearers, bitch, and you only go to your you home. And to all no, you're doing is going to your homecoming and your homecoming. You don't go to no meetings. You don't go to no meetings. No community service. You're not doing nothing, bitch. All you're doing is fucking scrolling and fucking You're an inactive. And this goes for bitches and niggas. Don't think we just talking about the no, niggas. No, like, it's a lot of females that... It's actually my like females. I, I'm not Greek or anything, but I can say when you read up on it, you look up for what each organization, st- each stands, organization for. stands for and what they represent, I feel like you should be active. You should pay your dues. You should be involved if that's, the, if that's what you're going to represent. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, after you graduate, people don't have time, but go to something if you can. If you can, if you have the money, you can pay to be active and you can be involved. Be involved. That's, that's your organization. That's what you represent. So I feel like this. I stand to on the fact that I feel like a lot of times I feel like I really look back at that shit. I, I'm saying it again because I'm really serious. The fact that I look back at my life and I kind of think like, damn, I let that shit affect the fact that like, one, I don't know if you knew this bitch. What? I wasn't chosen because I was gay. Oh, that's lame. That's lame as fuck, right? So I feel like, yeah, it's beef. But yeah, I just feel like... But pause. I do want to say this because a lot of dudes... Let me tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. When it comes to you knowing your sexuality, if you know who you are and you know who you are as a person, no gay person coming around you should affect you. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be, oh, this isn't what this chapter stands for because if you're... That's that's being biased to me. Carl, let's give a disclaimer. Because you know know how how they like to make this about one person. Mm-hmm. This about everybody, bitch. This about everybody. This comes. This comes for females as well. If your organization is strictly for this, that, and the third, it shouldn't be. Uh, oh, this person is gay. Outside of that, they have all the P's and Q's and all their T's are, are crossed. So, what's the problem? Yeah, I also feel like this. I feel like I a lot of times I'm against things all. at like school. All right, so somebody else did me about this. I'm going to ask y'all a question about I don't know how we digress to college from getting fucked in our ass. But, um, well, because college is fucking us in our ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's how I feel. We all, except you, we all went to PWIs. 
And somebody was, I had told somebody about, like, I had made an announcement with my little close friends. I was like, you know, this happened for me today. And they was like, oh, my God, that's so good. And I was like, yeah. But PWIs love to exploit black people for what they can bring to schools. I look at the school I went to, right? And I'm speaking on it because, bitch, I just realized, I'm just, I'm make sure this is clear before you bitches ever, if I ever fucking pop and you bitch try to be like, oh, he went to our school. I fucking hate Let me just make sure y'all fucking know. That schools, white schools, all that shit, will try to use your name and use your brand and things that you're doing and try to be like, oh, yeah, this person went to our school. But let's always remember that they didn't try to assist nobody with financial aid. I had no internships. I had nothing nothing but an organization going for myself. And the whole time I had an organization going for myself, they were trying to tear that bitch down and make it like it was bad. They said I was a safety hazard. They say I, myself, me, was a safety hazard for the school, and that is how I got my paper signed to graduate. There were no classes for me. So for you people that, there's like certain people that know like I was feeling shit, I had to get out of the safety hazard for the school. PWIs will exploit black people. So I'm advocating y'all, go to a motherfucking HBCU. Please go to HBCU. Please go to HBCU. If you can, you can get in and you can succeed, go to an HBCU because they look for black people to succeed. PWIs don't give four fucks about you. And when you start trying to be different, when you start trying to think out the box and give back to the community, yeah, give back to the school. It's kind of like the trial. They look at, at, look at you as, oh, you're trying to fuck up the system. Well, y'all ain't not, got shit going you're here. you're not acting with the system. Yeah. You're not moving you're not, how the system supposed to go. Smooth. And it's like, okay, like, I'll, a prime example, we, we, me and Mary both went to the same school. Period. So it's like, it would be times fucking hump day shut down. Why don't we have a hump day? And we had a hump day in three months. Facts. All, all the Greek is on suspension. All of, every everybody is, is screwed and the school is bored and like, oh, do nobody want to go here? Y'all ain't acting. We ain't doing shit. Facts. So long story short, y'all, I just feel like y'all should really just motherfucking understand like purpose and things like that. I feel like a lot of times we sign up for different things and it goes past school, right? I feel like a lot of times we sign up for things because we're not realizing that a lot of times we're getting exploited, right? So the other time I was trying to tell somebody that I feel like award shows have become another form of exploitation of black art. I feel like a lot of times, right, we look at stuff like Abbott Elementary, right? I love Abbott Elementary. That is a great fucking show. Bomb fucking show. Love it. But I look back at it before Black Lives Matter, what, had, what Abbott Elementary had been picked up? I don't think it would have been. I look at certain shows and things like that, and I just kind of feel like a lot of times we look at award shows, like different things, right? I feel like a lot of times it's the popular thing to give black people the award now. It's not popular. It's the safest thing to do because you don't want backlash. You don't want to look like, oh, I may be racist. <coughs> so I feel like a lot of times, right, I feel like lately, and this is, we're going to wrap this our last topic, I feel like lately we've lucky just because ever since Black Lives Matter happened in Corona, black art, black creators, even we see on we see on TikTok and things like that, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm being transparent with y'all. But let me actually be transparent so I have an opportunity to be. TikTok has me on my last strike as a black creator. I don't post nothing that's really that fucking bad on TikTok, and I'm on my last strike. A lot of platforms y'all are not out here for us. On Instagram, I can't get paid for none of my reels. So understand that as a black creator. Everything y'all doing, we have to start supporting each other and understanding each other. So that's why I'm going to talk about the lip gloss. You see, bitch, I'm in the tell yeah, it's that lip gloss. Because y'all, we all, we motherfucking guys. But let me guy. tell you this. What I have realized, like, when it comes to marketing, when it comes to TikTok, Instagram, it's not set. And it sounds so bad, but it's not set up for us to win. It's not. It's not. Don't ever use a black hashtag. I, when I, I ain't going to lie to let you up. When I finally, when I had the, the, the Black History episode, I had one day decided to use Black History Month. Mm-hmm. My shit started getting flagged like a motherfucker. I don't flag, know flag. And they be like, this video contain, contains this. This con this video contains bullying. They Harassing, do not. bullying. <laughs> like Instagram does not want you to portray as if you're one-sided. Everybody. Let's not say Instagram. Everybody. Okay, everybody. does. Every social media does not want you to portray as if you're one-sided. It's not Black Lives Matter. It's All Lives Matter. So it's like when, you are, when you're talking about a certain race and you're strictly on a certain standpoint, they're like, no. We don't fit in into this genre of what you're talking about. This is wrong. And it's not wrong because we're just being clear. I love my white friends to death. But where the fuck y'all come from? Y'all ain't got no history. Y'all ain't no history books. Y'all ain't in shit. They got the uh, Nazi shit. Bye. Y'all was killing everybody that wasn't blonde with blue eyes. Goodbye. <laughs> I said what I said. Google it. Man, look, long story short, man, I hate. Y'all focus home. Okay, sure. You got to come back again. I'm sorry. I love you when you come here. But we're gonna just this gonna be just this only. 
this just me and you only by ourselves. What? For now. Like, we only gonna record by ourselves for now. Oh, yeah. Now, Cause yeah. I told you, we don't do well with others. Yeah, I feel like today we, we just, just kind of dived into it. I feel like we just like, okay, bitch, look, this was talking about. And that's how I went the first time. So, anyways, y'all, thank y'all for stepping to the motherfucker After Dirty Podcast. I really appreciate y'all for coming and tapping in the motherfucker episode. I appreciate you. You're finally on season two, bitch. I'm so happy. Well, I stopped saying season two. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a transparent. I'm low key tired of recording, y'all. I think I'm gonna take like a two week break and we're gonna come into season three. He doesn't bitch. like the fact that you all are very bland. No, that's not what I'm saying. So what is it? Bitch, I was saying I'm tired. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Anyways, bitch, I just need like a two week break, y'all. White. I'm gonna take a two week break soon. Just let y'all know. He needs a time. break. My man's tired. That's what I'm saying, baby. He's tired, tired boss. Quick. I'm tired of talking to everybody. I just need a little break to the self. Can y'all I give me a break? So comment below if y'all give me a break. But go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe. Okay. Follow Shelby. What's your Instagram name? Shelby K beat by Shelves. You know what I'm about. Don't forget to motherfucking order your motherfucking lip May first, it fucking like drop. May first, May first. Oh shit, I dropped it, but it didn't God break. Damn. That's a good bottle. All right, y'all. So thank y'all again for tapping in. At this moment, you should be tapping into my motherfucking Wait, Instagram we live. Leave. We take a You're right. Leave. Kevin gonna. Take, I got my port already. Kevin gonna All take right. one too because he said he wanted one. All right, cool. Take a shot for y'all. Go. Not the go. <laughs> I didn't sound like that. Oh no, you was like my. Like, Y'all, Mary got this song that I like, and it be like, um, I need your love tonight. Oh my god, you know, cause you know that's my song. Yeah, bitch. Every time I come around, this bitch be like, listen to this. The bitch is me, bitch. I know. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do for y'all. <laughs> I'm going to put play that as the end song. Play, right now. Play, right now. It's going to be coming in right be now. Like, she be, be like, like I shit. need to love This with Omaya. Tonight. That's my motherfucking bitch for life. Maya, girl, you sound good. I'm oh, jamming. That bitch came in so smooth. When I heard that shit, that's when I was like, oh, I'm going to do music. She this be shit like, live. she be like, look, here you go. Come inside. Nah, that bitch lies. So it's right here, y'all. This motherfucker. What the fuck you fell out? <laughs> Man, good night, mother. Oh, take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. Ooh. Good night, motherfuckers. Good night. Buy your life. Buy your life. Why you always sad? Why you always looking mad? Why you always looking like you got somebody to beat up? Damn nigga, kick your feet up, hey. And why you feel so alone? Why you keep doing the wrong? Why you keep going on? Please tell me how long. Can you go this way? Why you all in my face? Throwing shit in my place. I just need a little space. Doing me dirty to send a race. Can you take my place? Come and grab me by my waist. Come and give me a little taste. Come and show me how you shake it. This a double sided conversation. Why you got all the hesitation? I done had enough fucking patience. For you today, I need you, babe. Can you stay? With me tonight I need your love tonight I don't wanna fight Can you get it right? I wanna go up now You got some fucking luck now Don't come over asking how now, babe I need your love tonight I don't wanna fight Can you get it right? I wanna go up Think about it too much But you got me feeling booed up, booed up I noticed you walking in and I just wanna touch on your body, babe Know that you're not the type to hang around and drink at the party, babe I wanna feel you on top, yeah and We been talking, show me what you got, yeah Got me by my hand, walking to the door, walking to the car I'm ready to go now Pop for you. I could stay at your place till the morning comes. We could play at right your face till the sun is up. I need your love tonight. I don't
I'm telling you, when you do stuff like that, you really get an other so person. So your needs have alive. always been met in all your relationships. No, and if they're not, then why are we wasting our time? You either gonna get it together right then and there. We're gonna work on it together. We're not gonna break up and be mm -hmm. on a break because we working on shit. It's no. not a break. She didn't it's say it was a break. Really a all I'm gonna say is, if somebody go on a podcast and say we not together uh -uh, and they uh -uh. sing, I'll do that. Hold on. <laughs> 